My name is Ariana, and I'm here with an interview with Patricia Regan, director of Girl in Progress. I'm very excited. We're opening this Friday. So we're, you know, it's the last sprint to success, hopefully. It's great because this Friday is Mother's Day, so how fitting. I know. this. Uh, when we made the movie, it was not the plan to open it on Mother's Day weekend, but the movie actually happens during Mother's Day, in the, the story-wise, and the movie's about moms and daughters, and, and daughters and moms, so it's perfect date. We're super excited. She's threatening to beat me. She likes to embellish. She just learned that word on TV. Why are you being so impossible? I'm a teen. Hello, how's my daughter's only friend? Mom. I'm sorry, your child has no father, Mrs. Gutierrez. So tell us a little bit about what attracted you to the screenplay. I, uh, first of all, I thought it was very clever because this is a, a coming of age story that plays with the, with the genre. So it's a little girl that decides to stage her own coming of age story in order to grow and leave her mom. So that, I thought that was very clever, it was very funny. And then I also, of course, love the mom-daughter relationship and how conflicting it is during the teen years. Absolutely. And, um, and how you, you know, you fight and, and love each other at the same time. Sorry, I finished the cereal and the milk. I also wanted to know, we all want to know, you know, Eva Mendes is starring in this movie, so mm -hmm. how was it to get her in this movie? I think she's, you know, she's perfect for the character. She plays a young mom who got pregnant very at a very young age, so now she has a teen daughter, but she's still very much a teen herself. So she's very immature. She's still finding her place, you know, fooling around, being immature, being irresponsible. And how, you know, the, the, the little daughter is exactly the opposite. She's very precocious, she's very mature, and she's like the mom in the relationship. Mm -hmm. So it, it, Eva did a very funny role and also very moving. I think she, she never, you know, she never played out her looks. She's so beautiful and she purposely, consciously, never played the beauty stuff. And that kept her really very real, and I think that's why she's connecting so well with women out there. Absolutely. Well, I will say on a side note, um, Eva Mendes is definitely one of my favorite actresses. I love her. I mean, of course, for the she's a beautiful woman, a Latina woman. And, you know, she, she plays a whole different, you know, different range. But to see her mm -hmm. in this light, and then, I mean, I saw the trailer, so we see her over, hunched over a toilet and then looking so, Eva, like looking awesome and, and still with her personality and still funny and mm -hmm. but not not playing the mm -hmm. the diva role. That's that's really awesome. It's refreshing to see her in a new life. Yeah. She'd be out there getting a degree. Not laying here with some Mary. Barely, barely. Damn it. Still here, Grace? Oh yeah. I think no one I think we haven't seen her like this. I think she gave a she gave, gives us a really moving performance, a really meaty role. I think that's what really attracted her and, and us, you know. And she's still a Hollywood star, but she's a Latina like all of us, mm -hmm. so she's really perfect for, for this movie. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite scene in the movie? I love a lot of scenes, but I, I guess one of my favorites, I have two, I think. One is when Eva and Sierra, the, the young girl, are our chair is taking a bath and um, it's very warm and you think for a moment that the mom and daughter come together and she's actually going to listen to her and she's going to be there for her and you think everything is going to be good and then the boyfriend calls and she just gets up and, and leaves, you know, and that, that's heartbreaking. The other one I really like is uh, a bullying scene that I have because the, the little girl's journey um, is planned by her and she decides to become a bad girl. So she's first a naive, innocent girl and then she becomes a, a mean girl and a bully. Mm. So it's a very, you know, it's a very unfortunately recurring theme in, in young people in our times. So it, it was very strong, very hard to shoot and very hard to watch. Yeah. I want to ask you how it feels being the challenges of being a woman in film. Mm -hmm. and also just being a Latina director. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's a challenge every day I go to a meeting, there's 40 guys, you know, 40 white guys competing against me for the same movie. So it is, you know, it's hard. Um, 
but I don't really see any difference. I just go in and, and, and try to do my best, and, and that's how, thankfully, I've been able to continue working. Well, what's, what's next for you? Next for me, well, right now, Friday. Friday, Friday is yeah. what's more important in my uh, life. You know, I think about it, I'm inviting people, I'm promoting the movie. I think it's very important that Latinos, you know, as a, an audience, we get together to support our movies. They're very hard to make. The Hollywood executives still don't believe that we exist as an audience. And um, so we need to prove them that when we have a movie that's made for us, about us, by people like us, that we're out there supporting it. Because if we do, then we can make any movie we want, you know, for, 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 for us, for this audience. So I, I'm always inviting Latino audiences to get together, go out, go out to watch the movie on the first weekend. That's really important. Did you win that? In chess. How nerdy! Hi, I'm Patricia Regan. I'm here to invite you to watch Girl in Progress on Mother's Day weekend. Thank you, Latin Recap. <laughs>